Do you know those people who are delusional about every single aspect of their life? No matter what happens, they think everything's gonna work out, everything's gonna be fine, everything is working for me. I know that a lot of people think that those delusional people are nuts, and they may seem that way. They may seem a little bit out of touch, they may seem like they have no idea what a consequence is, have never experienced that in their life. But I wanna talk about why it's good to be delusional, why it's healthy, and why it will actually get you so much further in your life towards your dreams, towards your goals, than any other mindset. People who are delusional have so much faith in themselves and the way that their life is mapped out. Most people do not live their lives that way. Most people live their lives with these limiting beliefs just taking over every single thing that they do. And I know that it's trendy to be like, she's Delulu, but if you are actually delusional, if you actually have this unwavering faith in yourself, it's a really hard point to get to. The law of expectation says that if you expect it to happen, it is going to happen for you. If you believe wholeheartedly that you are going to be extremely successful, even if right now your situation is dire, you are at rock bottom, you have that belief, that faith in yourself that you can make things happen, that you are going to get to your goals, that you are going to be extremely successful, you're going to live in a mansion, whatever it is, you have that belief, you are so delusional that even though you are so far away from that goal, you are so far away from that dream, you can't even, it's not even like part of your current reality, but you feel it. You feel that you're living in that dream. You feel the emotion of how it's going to feel when you live in that house, when you have that partner, when you have that career. You are embodying that dream. You are so delusional. You are embodying wholeheartedly, fully that dream, no matter what situation you're in, it's going to happen for you. That mindset is so powerful because they cannot be taken down by anything. Being delusional is actually one of the best traits that you can have. Most people think that delusional people are crazy. Most people look at delusional people and they're like, they're so out of touch, they're so weird, but that's good. You want normal people to think that you're crazy. You want normal, regular, boring people who will never get anywhere in their life to think, that you are crazy because you know what that is? That is just a projection. They're just projecting their jealousies onto you. Whenever somebody tries to take you down from your highest place, from that full belief in yourself, that full faith in yourself, that full faith in your higher power, they are just projecting their jealousies, their fears, their insecurities onto you. They could never do what it is that you're doing. They're jealous. They're never going to create the life of their dreams. They are going to continue living their lives, watching these people create the lives of their dreams, wondering why they can't do it, wondering why they can't get past these limiting beliefs, because you're judging these other people, because you're looking at these people doing what it is that they wanna do, and you're saying, mm, Fuck them. Fuck them. They're so weird. I would never do that. You would never do that, which means that you are never going to get to the place that they are going to get to. Those people live and love to exist in a negative headspace of, I can't, I won't, I would never. They are consumed by their limiting beliefs. So when they look at you and you are happy, you are living your dream life, you are following all of your goals, they are immediately gonna go to the negative. It has nothing to do with you. You are doing everything right in your life. You love yourself, you have faith in yourself. You know that no matter what, no matter what situation you are in right now, you know that you're going to make it out the other side because you know how your life is going to look. You know how capable you are, you know how strong you are, you know how powerful you are, and you know how powerful your thoughts are. You've taken the time to squash those limiting beliefs. And that is no easy feat. That is why it's hard to be delusional. It is truly not easy to be wholeheartedly delusional and to fully believe and embody the fact that your life is up to you and you are going to create it exactly how you want. You are going to get every single thing that you've ever dreamed about. You are going to continue being delusional no matter what other people say. Because why would you live your life for these other people. Those limiting beliefs that you're facing right now, they are the devil. And maybe you don't resonate with God and the devil, so they are your ex or they are an ex-boss. The only thing that those limiting beliefs are doing for you is squashing your dreams, is causing you to not have any faith whatsoever in yourself. Your life is determined by you and the way that you react to situations. If you are going through a difficult period and you let the devil take over, you let your ex take over, you let your ex-boss take over, and they drag you down, they drag you down to hell, you are letting those limiting beliefs take you over. You are letting them win. I don't know about you, but I don't wanna let them win. I don't want to give up on my goals, my dreams, my destiny, just because I can't get out of a thought pattern, just because I think it's a little bit weird, just because people are judging me. I hope that they judge me. I hope that they judge me and I hope that they think that I am the weirdest, 
person on the face of the earth because I believe in myself. And to all of our society right now, that is weird. While the rest of our society is following a fucking mold, is looking like everybody else is doing what everybody else is doing, be a weirdo. Because why would you wanna live your life living someone else's life? Why would you wanna live your life being consumed by limiting beliefs and letting those take you down to hell? You are never going to do anything with your life. You're never going to do what it is that you were made for. You were given a gift. You are special. If you let the tough situation, the haters, the exes, the job transitions take you down, how can you expect to build your life? That is when you rise above. That is when you prove to yourself who you really are. That is when you show unwavering faith in your abilities, in your strength, in your power. That is when you become delusional. That is when you say absolutely fucking not to the devil, to your ex, to whatever it is. Absolutely not. I will not be participating in that. That will not be how I speak to myself. I know that every single thing in my life, every single thing in my life is working for me. I know without an ounce of doubt in my mind that this is what I'm meant to become. I am meant to become this version of myself. You can't even fucking see me. I am meant to be so high. I am meant to be the highest version of myself that I can possibly reach in this lifetime. I am not going to give any of my energy to these limiting beliefs, to these haters, to these doubts, to the devil. That is not my purpose. That is not something that I'm aligned with and I'm going to put a stop to that right now. As soon as those beliefs come up in my head, as soon as that negative inner dialogue comes up in my head, I'm going to recognize it and I'm going to say absolutely fucking not. That may have been the me before, but that is not me now. Replace those thoughts with delusional thoughts. Replace those thoughts with the knowing that you are going to be incredible, with the knowing that everything that is happening for you right now is only building you up to be bigger, better, stronger, hotter, and richer. Every moment of adversity has a blessing, a lesson, and will benefit you if you take it as that. If you take the moment of adversity and you say, mm, I'm gonna listen to the devil, your life is not destined for greatness and you are not going to get where you wanna be. But if you take that moment of adversity and you say, this is my opportunity to become my highest self. It is going to be challenging, but this is my opportunity to change that inner dialogue, to speak to myself how I deserve to be spoken to, to build my life exactly how I want to build it. I know that I am capable. I know that God, the universe has my back. I know that all of this that is happening is happening for me to grow. Why would you not be delusional? There is no one else in your life that is going to believe in you like you can believe in yourself. You can have support from people, but at the end of the day, the only person that can make any kind of change in your life, positive or negative, is you. Of course, there are things that are outside of your control. Getting fired is outside of your control, but what are you going to take from that experience? We have control over our reactions to things. And it's normal to get down in the dumps for a little while after a moment of adversity. But once we get past that, once we make it past that stage of, okay, we need to process this, we build ourselves back up. We pull ourselves up out of the fire. Nobody else does that for us. You need to learn how to get yourself out of that place. If you can't do that, the devil is going to bring you down. Your life is predicated upon how you react to things. Be fucking delusional. Create your life exactly how you wanna create your life. Wholeheartedly believe that you can do it and make it fucking happen. Believe in yourself like you believed your ex was going to change. Just be delusional. Just believe that everything is working out for you and it will. I love you so much and I hope you have an amazing day and I need you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. Thank you. I'll talk to you soon.